It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another tutorial video. In the last video, we set up our movement system so that our character could move around a lot more naturally than he had done before. In this video, I wanted to correct our rotation system so that it is more natural and feels a lot better in gameplay. You have more control over it. We're going to do that by controlling the speed of the rotation relative to our character's movement speed. The other thing I wanted to do is separate our camera from our player controls. So by, we're doing that by a second script which would be attached to the camera. It would track our player and move very, very neatly, very simply. We're not going to use the method that we had before where it simply follows a, a camera pivot that is attached to the center of the world and has the pivot rotate, so having the camera move as a result. We're not going to do that, we're going to simplify, we're going to make it better and uh, we're going to start with the player script. Let's go! So, first thing you want to do, pop your player script open and um, in fact actually, before we do that, we're going to create a second script because we are going to separate our camera movement from our current player movement. Right click, cre create a second script, C sharp script, I'm going to call this cam. Very simple, very uh, easy to work with. Pop that open once it's loaded properly and as per before, delete and neaten because I don't like messy code. Right, okay, so what we want to do is switch over to our player code and grab the things that we need. So we're going to need to track our player, so we're going to need a transform which is player, public transform player, yep, so that's our player transform. Our camera transform is going to be attached with this script so we don't need to grab that from outside and the code itself we're going to need to grab from here. In fact we're not going to need the same code. We are going to use the same heading variable though. So if we just grab our float which was heading, paste it into the, there, switch back over and grab our heading code which allowed us to change the heading value by simply moving our mouse. So you can see here heading plus equals input.getAxis mouse x and then we multiply it by time delta time and a nice movement speed. And that's it. We've uh, removed our camera code from our player so we can remove the cam pivot rotation there as well. We've taken the header out already. Cam pivot can be deleted. We don't want to delete our cam from this script because we do still use it to calculate our camera's direction and use it for our inputs later on. So here cam F and cam R as we did previously. Okay, so we're going to switch back over to our camera code and we're going to do something really useful. What we want to do with our camera is position it so that it is a certain distance away from our player. How do we do that? Well, we first take our player's position, we move a certain distance backwards and then we can turn our camera as a relative uh, direction. In fact, we can do the rotation first so that when we go backwards, it is going move, it moves backwards relative to the camera's direction. So what we do is we first set our rotation. So here we need transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot Euler. And within that Euler, what we want is a certain angle. So um, we're going to have essentially tilt. Then we need our heading and then this would be our roll value, value which we want as zero. So what this means is when we take tilt which we're going to need a new variable for. There we go. We've got a new variable here. Float heading and float tilt. Heading is of course controlled by our mouse. Tilt is the tilt that we want. And we're going to set that rather than zero. We're going to set it to, I don't know, let's say 15 degrees. Nice and useful. So heading of course will change as we move the mouse. Tilt will change as we, um, well actually tilt will stay as it is for now just so that we understand, understand our code. Okay, now what we want to do is position our camera. We've already rotated it. We need to position it at the player position minus a certain distance. So we set our camera's position which is of course transformed our position because we're attaching this to the camera transform to player dot position and then we move it away minus transform which is of course our camera 
dot forward that gives us our direction and then we multiply that by a specific distance so let's say cam dist and again we need a float for that so we're going to set cam dist and we're going to go with a nice 10. 10 distance is pretty nice because we've been using minus 10 as its position so far anyway. Save that and now we've already got a very simple camera code in three lines of code and four variables essentially. One which is of course just a drag on object. Let's do that now. Switch back over to the game. Let it complete load it. Load it there. You can see the camera code updates up here. We're going to attach our camera code to our main camera. But first we have to remove it from that cam pivot over there. So remove our camera away, delete the cam pivot which we don't need anymore and now attach the camera code to our camera. Of course we need to tell our camera what is the player object. So drag our player over onto here and that's it. We've got camera code that should work. Let's press play. Remember to save your games all the time. Just save your work all the time and you can see here it's rotating around the player right now. If we move our player, the camera moves with him. And we can still rotate around him. No problem. All in three lines of code. Really, really useful. You'll notice one other thing though. It is rotating around the pivot point of our player, which of course we know is the base of our player, because that's how we built it on purpose. So what we want to do here is actually lift our camera up a little bit. How much higher will we go? Well, let's say we rotate around half our player. Our player is 1.6 meters. Or did we set him to 2? Let's have a look. We set him to a height of 2. So what we want to do, let's go halfway up and get our camera to rotate around one high, higher than the player position. So back over to our camera code here. Transform.position equals player.position minus transform forward times cam dist. And we also want to add it add vector3.up so that gives us our world up direction not the camera's direction multiplied by player height so we want a player height va variable duplicate that change that and we only need it as one now since we're multiplying by one we can literally remove that entirely and just have vector3 up but we're not we don't want to do that because we might want to control this you might have different variable values whatever Okay, we've now got the player height included. Let's switch back over, press play and wait for it to load, wait for it to load. And now you can see we are, it's, it's not always completely obvious, but you can see we are rotating now across the center of the player rather than his base. It's very easy to work. All you have to do is think, what do I actually want to do? And then just apply that to the position or rotation or whatever you're actually doing. You just want to apply what you're thinking in your head to the object that you're, you're dealing with. We've dealt with the camera control now. It doesn't matter where our player goes, our camera will follow.